From the diary of Marco Polo At 17, when Marco Polo travelled the Mongol capital of Kublai Khan, he wrote about the strange things he saw in the Orient for the first time, like the rhinoceros, which he thought was a unicorn, the coconut, paper money, and the crocodile. Marco Polo Dear Diary, Here in Sumatra, modern-day Indonesia, I have seen unicorns that are almost as big as elephants. These animals have hair like that of a buffalo, feet like those of an elephant, and a head like that of a wild boar. They have a horn in the middle of their forehead, which is black and very thick. They are ugly beasts to look upon. In Sumatra, I also saw and tasted a nut that was the size of a man's head. These nuts have an outside shell on which there are threads that are used for many purposes. Under that shell is a pulp which can be eaten. It has, indeed, a pleasant taste and smell. Dear Diary, Today I visited the city of Kanbalu, modern-day Beijing, and saw the mint of the great Kublai Khan. Here paper money is produced from the barks of mulberry trees. This paper money is treated as if it were pure gold or silver. On each note can be found the names and seals of important officers. This paper money is circulated in every part of the great Khan's kingdom. This money is used to buy every article in Kublai Khan's empire, including pearls, jewels, gold or silver. Dear Diary, Today when I reached the province of Karazan, modern-day Yunnan province in southwest China, I saw huge serpent monsters. Near the head, they have two short legs that have claws like those of a tiger. The serpent's eyes are larger than a loaf of bread and very glaring. The jaws are wide enough to swallow a man and the teeth are large and sharp. Their weight is so much that when they travel in search of food or drink, the tail makes a long, narrow pit in the soil. 